will try to understand how to draw shear force and bending moment diagram in case of cantilever beam. So as shown over here, we are having a point load which is acting at the free end B, whereas a UDL of 5 kN per meter acting at a distance of 1 meter from the free end as shown over here. Now let us start with the shear force diagram calculation. The conventions which we have used over here for the shear force diagram calculation is upward forces they are considered as negative whereas downward forces they are considered as positive. Now shear force at point B is 10 kN and it is acting in the downward direction and hence it is positive. Shear force at just right of C, we have to consider all the forces which are acting on the right hand side of C. So it is 10 kN which is acting in the downward direction that we have written over here and 5 into 1 that is the uniformly distributed load that is also written over here. So total load will be 15 kN. The same will be acting at point C also because at point C there is no load that is acting. Shear force at point A is also same because between C and A there is no another force or another load that is acting. Now using these values we can draw the shear force diagram. So at point B it is 10 kN, at point C it is 15 kN and at point A also it is 15 kN. Now let us start with the bending moment diagram calculations. Now for this we will convert this uniformly distributed load of 5 kN per meter acting over 1 meter length into a point load first and that will be acting at the center of 1 meter length. So 5 into 1 it, it is the load, UDL load which is acting at the center of this particular length. So that we have shown over here. So 5 into 1 acting at a distance of 0.5 meter. Now the conventions which we have used for bending moment diagram are clockwise moments they are considered as negative whereas anti-clockwise moments they are considered as positive. So as you can see over here this is the downward acting point load which is nothing but the UDL converted into point load of magnitude 5 into 1 acting at a distance of 0.5 meter that is the center of 1 meter length. Bending moment at point B is 0 because there is no force that is acting on the right hand side of B. Now we have to find out bending moment at point C. So we have to consider all the forces which are acting on the right hand side of C. So let us start with this particular force that is of 10 kN. It will produce the clockwise moment about C and clockwise moments are considered as negative. So minus 10 into perpendicular distance between B and C is 1 meter. So this is our first term. Then 5 into 1 multiplied by perpendicular distance is 0 0.5 and that will also produce the clockwise moment. So minus 5 into 1 into 0.5. So that is nothing but minus 12.5 kN. So here it should be minus 12.5. Similarly, bending moment at point A, we have to consider all the forces which are acting on the right hand side of A. So let us start with this particular 10 kN force. It will produce the clockwise moment about this and the perpendicular distance between B and A is 2.5. So that is our first term. Then this 5 into 1 will also produce the clockwise moment and the perpendicular distance from this point 
up to this point is nothing but 0.5 plus 1.5 that is 2 so these are the moments which are created about this particular point a using these values we can easily draw the bending moment diagram now between b and c there was udl so we have used we have drawn this particular parabolic curve and then the straight line between c and e so in this way we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram thank you very much for watching